Yo guys, Million here, and today I'll be doing a different type of video. I will be showing you that it is possible to use the Alienware graphics amplifier with the Razer Core X on the same Alienware laptop. I wanted to do this video because I was curious to see if it actually worked and there wasn't really any answers online if it did. So you are meant to use the Alienware graphics amplifier with an Alienware laptop only and that's, that's why they, the Alienware laptops have the proprietary port which is specifically designed for the graphics amplifier but I was curious because a lot of these Alienware laptops also have a Thunderbolt 3 port which obviously can be used for other third-party eGPUs such as the Razer Core X or the Razer Core so I wanted to try to see if it actually worked so in the graphics amplifier I had a GTX 1080 Ti Founders Edition and in the Razer Core X I had a RTX 3080 Founders Edition which I unboxed in a previous video. So originally I just had the 1080 Ti and the graphics amplifier but I wanted to get a, a more powerful card that I could use with my, with my laptop but the 3080 isn't compatible with the Alienware graphics amplifier. I did actually try it. It did fit inside and it closed, but I don't think that Alienware have released any updates or anything for it to function with the laptop. And also the power supply isn't powerful enough to run the 3080 in the graphics amplifier. So that's why I went out and bought a Razer Core X, which has a 650 watt power supply, which is enough power to run the 3080. That's why I wanted to find out if any of these issues would occur because I couldn't find anything online. I don't think anyone actually tried a 3080 with an Alienware laptop. So the first issue I faced when I was trying to do this was that the 3080 wouldn't read and it wouldn't come up on device manager, but I managed to work out why. The reason why it wouldn't work originally was because basically I plugged in the Razer Core X with the 3080 in the laptop before it was turned on. So the way you get it to work is while it's on, you can actually plug the Thunderbolt 3 cable into the laptop while it's running and it's all powered on and everything and it will still pick up the graphics card in device manager if you try and plug it in and then boot it up it won't read it for some reason i'm not sure why and another thing i was worried about before i actually bought the 3080 and the razor core x was that a lot of laptops have a USB C port but apparently it's not the same as a thunderbolt 3 port a Thunderbolt 3 port will have a little lightning symbol above the ports, but a USB-C port will have like the USB-C symbol. And I don't think you can use an eGPU with a laptop if it has the USB symbol. It has to be the Thunderbolt symbol. And obviously my laptop has the Thunderbolt port and the eGPU works fine with it. So actually using both cards in terms of gaming, you can only use one or the other it picked up the graphics amplifier, the card in the graphics amplifier, which is the 1080 Ti, and it didn't it didn't actually run the 3080. I think because the graphics amplifier has priority because it's connected directly to the graphics part of the motherboard. When I actually played games with the 3080, there wasn't really any bottleneck, which I was surprised about because obviously the power of that card and because of how old the processor is and how old the laptop is it ran really well on certain games and there weren't any lag spikes or anything so another thing i wanted to try apart from gaming was mining with these graphics cards because i know a lot of people are buying graphics cards nowadays to mine on because of the profitability and how much money you can make off of mining i used nice hash quick miner to mine on both of these graphics cards it actually works really well because the laptop obviously detected both graphics cards the program managed to detect them and they were both running i know a lot of people won't care about this mining thing but i just wanted to test it and hopefully help people who are curious about mining on a laptop with two graphics cards connected to it um, and it is actually possible so if you know about mining you know what mega hash per second means and on the 3080, I was getting around 95 to 100 mega hash a second. And then on the 1080 Ti, I was getting around 42 to 45 mega hash a second. I was using the medium setting on both graphics cards on nice hash. So comparing the actual eGPUs, the graphics amplifier and the Razer Core X, I think the graphics amplifier is, feels kind of cheapish. It is a lot cheaper, obviously, so you do pay for what you get. But I'd only recommend the Razer Core X if you're planning to use like newer cards that require more power 
especially all these bigger cars like the 3090s or 3080s. In terms of like quality, the Razer Core X eGPU is much better and I liked how you could change the color of the LEDs because I have the Chroma model, whereas with the Alienware graphics amplifier, it's only one color. It just stays like the blue color. But I'd only recommend getting the Razer Core X if you don't have an Alienware or you have an Alienware laptop, but you want a, a newer card that you can use. But if you have an old graphics card, then I'd recommend getting the graphics amplifier or you just want to get into mining and you don't really want to buy any like mining rigs or anything and you just want to start off. This is a good cheap way if you already have the anywhere laptop so after you plug the thunderbolt 3 cable in it will come up with a notification saying that your pc may need updates for the thunderbolt 3 port to function so if you already have the updates you just have to click ok and it should just read the card if you haven't installed the updates for that port or you haven't installed the drivers you will have to do that if you want to use the graphics card the razer core x so yeah that was a little video to try and help anyone out there that is wondering if it is possible to connect two graphics cards externally to an Alienware laptop but please let me know if you have any questions I'll do my best to answer them make sure to like share and subscribe for more